Hi, how you doing? It's Jim. Welcome back to the channel. It's time for a cast iron guarantee reaction from yours truly for you, for Walt. Thank you very much for requesting this. Walt, you have been one of the great supporters and friends of the channel. I can't thank you enough for stuff you've done over the over the over the time. Um, thank you. Now, <laughs> I think everybody recognises this. It's uh, one of those. Um, records which is i seem to have got about five copies of this disc and it's every time i buy a sort of a, a you know sometimes you buy a sort of a job lot of uh, of cds off ebay and stuff they always throw one of these in there so i've i'm, I'm getting a pile of them which i'm sticking over there to put into a charity shop and <laughs> get rid of um there's a song on here which is called my is it my immortal or no bring me to life Bring Me to Life, which is the one that everybody knows. It's a, it was a huge, huge hit. I mean, it certainly was in the UK. But I never really got any further with it. And even though I have got this CD, which I've, ne I've, ne I've never bought this new, I bought this second hand, um, along with a load of other stuff, but I've never actually sort of dug any further with it. Um, but there were, there were tracks on your list, Walt, which weren't on here. So I had to get this, which is The Open Door. Not bad. Two quid off eBay. Can't argue with that, can you? So I've now got two Evanescence CDs, and I'm now going to listen to a selection from them. Now, you have asked for five tracks, which I've put together into a little playlist here. We'll just uh, play through them. We've got My Immortal, the band version. Uh, Lithium. So My Immortal is taken from Fallen, which is the uh, first CD. Uh, Lithium from the second one. Bring Me to Life from Fallen, uh, which is, I think, the one that we all know. Uh, Call Me When You're Sober from The Open Door and Going Under again from Fallen. So we've got five tracks, 20 minutes. Uh, I suspect I'm going to enjoy this. I don't know, but I suspect. <laughs> um... Right, let's go. Three, two, one, my immortal. I'm so tired of being here, suppressed by all my charm. And still lingers here And it won't leave me alone These wounds won't seem to heal This pain is just too real There's just too much that time cannot erase When you cried I'd wipe away all of your tears If you didn't know where this was going Sounds almost sort of like Disney esque in a way. But I know it's not when it's a day like this. She's got a lovely voice. A really lovely voice.
as uh, Walt pointed out in his email, and I'd have picked up on this as well, it's very, very song orientated. Oh, here we go. No massive long extended solos. I didn't realise this. It's two people. Vocals, Amy Lee, and guitars, Ben Moody. Then we have, those are the two main people. Then It's just the way it's printed off there. I don't know if that's going to focus on that. Focus. Probably won't. But the little bits in black there is the, those, their names. And then everything else in white. Is everyone else involved? Piano, bass, drums, percussion. Lithium. Years old, 2003. Well, that first one is. Three years older. Amazing voice, coupled with that guitar, it just sounds great.
Ooh. Bring me to life. I think this is the the really famous How one. How can you see into my eyes like open doors? Leading you down into my core or I become so numb With the soul Maybe not, I don't know. Yes, it is. It reminds me a little bit of um, Faith No More song, which sounds a little bit like this. Very, very well done. Very, very heavily produced. So. Very, very polished. It's, a, it's really good music, but it is so polished. It is absolutely pristine. Don't cry to me if you loved me, you would be here with me. You want me. This is called Call Me Don't When You're Sober.
Now have going on. Now I will tell you what I've done for you. Fifty thousand tears I've cried, screaming, deceiving, and bleeding for you. And you still won't hear me. Little bit of guitar, lead guitar, the tediest, tiniest little bit.
Oh. Awesome. Awesome. Wow. Um, there's a very, very different skill to being able to write short three and a half minute radio songs, singles, than it is from writing sort of sidelong epics and the big album tracks that uh, that usually frequent a lot of what we listen to on this channel. And well, I thank you so much for bringing this this music to to my attention. Um, it's it's very 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 tightly curated music it's and by that i mean it's absolutely written for a purpose you can almost feel it sort of ticking the boxes as it goes along that right we need to get the the verse here we need to get the uh the sort of the break bit going in, break beats going in here we need to have uh, some layered vocals and lots of heavy production techniques going on it reminds me of a band from the, I was, I was just trying to tap it up to, to make sure I got the years right. Uh, late eighties uh, into the nineties, there's a band in the UK. Uh, I don't know if they made it further afield called Shakespeare's Sister, uh, which had a similar sort of sound. But this is sort of taking it beyond that. But it had a sort of really um, sort of angelic uh, 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 female vocal, but then sort of juxtaposed with a sort of a, sort of a much heavier sound which came in over the top of it and it's kind of this is taking that to its logical conclusion and you might then argue i guess that bands like epica and nightwish have taken it a step further but then obviously expanded the songs back out again um this is really really interesting stuff it's kind of very very it is written for radio i'm absolutely certain of it it is written for radio and for um and for for singles it's for that that market and i don't know i didn't really sort of look at what's on the i need to have a look on the albums themselves let's have a look hold on hold on hold on right uh, yeah they're all the longest track we've got anywhere is about five and a half minutes the rest of them are sort of four and three so it is 12 minutes, 13 minutes, uh, sorry, 12 songs and 13 songs coming in at 40, 49 minutes. Um, so they are little, little snippety songs of, of, of just sort of pack in as much as you can within those three and a half minutes and, and let it loose, let it go out, get it out there up against your, um, your J Lo's and your Mariah Carey's and stuff like that, because it's going to grab the attention. It's a different sound. It, well, it certainly would have been back in uh, when this this came out, two thousand and three, and two thousand and six. So, good stuff. Well, thank you for that. Um, I don't, as I say, I don't really know anything about this band at all. I'm, I'm guessing they're American. It's got, I don't know what an American sound is, but it sounds American to me. <laughs> um, which is a weird thing to say because I don't think America has actually got a sound. Um, but I think the uh, you could hear accents in there. Uh, but as I was saying, all right, we have Amy Lee singing and then Ben Moody on the guitars. And then we have a bunch of other guys in here uh, who I'm presuming are going to be session musicians. So they'd have been included in here as being part of the band. Unless they're just sort of second tier members of the band. Oh, we don't like you as much yet. We're not going to give you as much of a, as a, of a billing on here. But we have David Hodges, Francesco Di Cosmo and Josh Fries. Um, and that is all we need to know. This was Evanescence. This is Walt's Cast Iron Guarantee Reaction. Uh, 20 minutes of guaranteed music. Uh, thank you very, very much indeed for the selection. I hope you enjoyed it, Walt. I hope anybody else watching this and listening has enjoyed it as well. If you want your own, you know where to go, how to do it, what to do. I'll see you guys on the next video whenever and whatever that is. Until then, this is Jim. Over. <laughs>